Hi there, my name is Mr. Little. I'm head of science at Rushmore and St. Andrews. And today we're doing an assembly about science. I wonder what you think of when you hear the word science. I wonder what comes to mind. To me, science is all about exploring and finding out what happens if, or what might happen if I do that? Or what happens if I add these two things together? That's all science is, exploring. There was a very famous astronomer called Edwin Hubble. He had the Hubble Space Telescope named after him. And he was an American who was a very good boxer. He just knocked out the heavyweight champion. But he gave that up to study physics. And he came from America to England to study astronomy. And he, has, he thought about science like this. He said, look, we've got our senses. We can taste, we can see, we can observe, we can touch, we can feel. Let's explore the world around us using those senses. And that adventure is what we call science. Well, this morning, I've asked some of your teachers to help me. Help me with some experiments we're going to do. And these experiments, you might better try at home. If you ask an adult's help, you might better try these as well. And your teachers have been brilliant. I've done some filming with them and they're going to help us this morning. So I hope you enjoy this assembly. Here at St Andrew's School and we're making our way over to the junior school this morning to film the teachers to see if they can work out what's going on with friction. Now friction is something that's all around us. We experience it every day and uh, it is so important. We often think of friction as a bad thing. We often think we want to overcome friction. It slows us down. Friction stops things from moving. But actually, friction can be really, really useful. And as I'm walking, if there was no friction, my feet would just slip on the uh, pavement as I walk. So friction is a vital thing. And we're going to see uh, how good the junior school teachers are understanding friction. So what I've got here is a water bottle, but this isn't any old water bottle. This is a water bottle full of rice. And I've also got a chopstick. And I'm gonna challenge some of your teachers to see if they can pick up the bottle full of rice just using one chopstick. Without spilling anything, without acetate, without glue, nothing else, just a chopstick and a bottle full of rice. Can you pick up that rice just using this chopstick? That's the challenge. Let's see what your teachers think. We're off. Okay, so we're here with Mr. Farnsworth. Mr. Farnsworth, it's your turn now. That bottle has got what in it, sir? Rice. Full of rice. And you've got to try and pick that up without touching it with your hands, just using the chopstick. Okay, see what you can do, sir. Oh, this could get messy. Oh. Oh, what are you doing, sir? It's wider that side. Oh, it's wider that side, like you're thinking. Is that going to work? No. Thank you for trying. Should we give him a round of applause? Go for it. And without spilling any ice. Oh, well done. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm allowed to touch the chopstick. Yep, you can pick up the chopstick. But try to pick the bottle with that. Yep, but you, you can't touch the water bottle. Oh, Jesus. How am I going to do that? Okay. Um, pick it. Without spilling any ice. Okay. How? Is it going to work? I don't think so. No, good effort. Oh, is it going to work? Oh, oh, well done. Did any rice spill out? Yes. A little bit. Thank you very much, Riss. Well done. <laughs> okay, so Mrs. Boland, all you've got to do 
is without touching that water bottle, you've got to try and pick that water bottle up full of rice just using that one chopstick. And we're allowed to insert it. Yep, you can do that. Oh, excellent. Good effort. Have a go at trying to pick that up without spilling any rice. Okay. Well, good try. <laughs> so you're you're putting it in the rice. Yep. And you're tilting it. Oh, well done. Top there job. We go. <laughs> Off you go. What are you thinking? I'm gonna put it in okay. as deep as I can. Oh, oh look at that. Easy. <laughs> Top job. Thank you very much. <laughs> so here is the water bottle full of rice. And this is how you pick it up. You just take your chopstick and you put it in. Now if you just pull it up, there's not enough friction from the rice to grab onto that chopstick. But if you push it all the way in, well, still not enough. What you need to do is this, really jam it in there enough times, compact all those rice grains together. And the more you do it, bigger the force of friction until eventually you can lift it up because the frictional force from that rice is grabbing hold and is enough to hold that chopstick in place. No glue, no magic, all it is is a good bit of physics. So just jam it in like this enough times, compacting everything together and then hey, job done. So a big thank you to all the teachers at uh, St Andrews. We're now off to Rushmore because I've got another challenge for them and the teachers there. All to do with friction again. Let's see how they get on. Okay, so here I am at the Rushmore uh, School Junior play Playground and we've got another little practical, a little physics uh, demonstration for you today. So I have got a key that's attached to a bit of string and the other end of the string is attached to this mug, the handle of the mug there. And what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at how friction works. Now on this string, I'm just going to place it over my finger like that. And if I was to let go of the keys and just let the string roll over my finger, what's going to happen? Is the mug going to go up, down, or is it going to stay where it is? What do you think? Let's find out. The other thing we can do is hold it like this. And I'm gonna let go of the key. Okay, the key's really light, the mug's a lot heavier. And if I let go of the key, what's gonna happen to the mug? Do you think it's gonna stay there? Is it gonna fall and smash on the floor? Is it gonna go up in the air? What's gonna happen? We're gonna ask some of your teachers to see if they can help us. Hi, Miss Robson. Miss Thompson and Miss Glennon. Okay, so ladies, what do you think is going to happen? I've got a mug here that's attached with a bit of string to a key. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it like this, okay, and I'm going to let go of the key. Now, which one's heavier, the mug or the key? The mug. The mug's heavier. Okay. And so when I let go, what's going to happen to the mug? It's going to drop. It's going to drop. Are we yes. happy with that? Yes. Yep. Okay, let's find out. Oh, then it dropped, and I just caught it before we hit the floor. Excellent, 10 out of 10 so far. This time I'm going to hold it with the mug just over my finger like that, with a string over my finger like that, and the keys out to one side and I'm going to let go. What's going to happen to the mug when I let go of the keys? The mug will drop. The mug will drop? Yeah, yeah, the mug will drop. And it will hit the floor? The desk. The desk will hit the desk. <laughs> if I do it over this bit here, will it hit the floor now? Will it stop? Or will it go up in the air? What do you think? Uh, it's going to go up in the air. It's going to go up in the air? Yeah. It's going to drop. It's going to, it's going to drop. It's going to drop. It's going to drop. It's going to drop and hit the floor? No, because the string is too short. The string is too short. I'm not going to, I'm not going to touch the string. All oh, right. Okay. Oh. I think it'll hit the floor. The floor? Yes. Okay. Let's find out. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is my... Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, so all your teachers have had fantastic guesses. They all guessed that the fact that the cup is heavier than the keys, that if I just leave it like that and let go, whoop, 
the cup's gonna fall to the floor unless I catch it before it smashes. But what happens if I do it like this? What happens if I hold it like this and let go of the keys? Are we ready to find out? Here we go. And the cup doesn't fall to the floor because the keys wrap themselves around my finger. And just the tension there, the friction around there, there's no knots or anything, it's just tight, it just wound itself around my finger. And if I give it a good putt, good tug like that, it's not gonna come off at all. Okay, let's see that again, shall we? Let's see if it works twice in a row. Here we go, three, two, one. And there you go, wraps around my finger. If I do it a little bit closer, you might be able to see slightly better. One, two, three. And you can see the way it wraps. And the cup hasn't smashed still, and it's wrapped around my finger. And the friction there, just between the string and my finger, is enough to hold it in place. If you want to have a go at home, feel free to, but don't choose your nicest cup, and make sure you've got an adult looking after you so you don't go and smash something or wreck something. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those two little experiments and a big, big thank you to all your teachers uh, who have did a fantastic job of helping me out. Now, there's one last thing I want to look at with friction. You see, friction always happens when two things slide past each other. When you have that movement of two surfaces, whether it's your foot on the playground or a pencil when you're writing or ice skating, when you don't want much friction or driving a car or cycling your bike when you do want friction between the tires and the road, but you don't want friction in the way the, we the, way the wheels are moving and the axles and the gears, you don't want friction there. Well, we're gonna have a look at what happens when you have just two bits of paper. What happens if you have two bits of paper sliding along each other? Is there much friction between just two bits of paper? What about if you have more than two bits of paper? What if you have a whole textbook full of sheets of paper? And what I've done for this experiment now, I've taken two textbooks and I have taken their pages and flipped them together. And so they're all, all the pages are interleaved with one another. And to see what happens and see how strong friction can be, I've asked help for some very strong PE teachers. Let's see how they get on. Okay, so I'm up here uh, with the PE guys. I've got Mr. Short and Mr. Morris, and we're gonna see uh, how strong they are. Now, who do you think is stronger? Do you think it's gonna be Mr. Morris or Mr. Short? Well, we're gonna find out. Do, all they've gotta do is pull these two books apart. Okay, Mr. Short, is that gonna be easy? Probably, uh, I don't know, maybe. You fancy chances, Mr. Morish? I don't know, I think you're, it's going to be harder than we think yeah. it is. You're, you're, you're stronger than Mr. Short, though, aren't you? Oh, you haven't cheated, are you? It's like, was no, they're not, they're not, they're not stuck together. Strong, not strong, so not okay, <laughs> right, so guys, so hold, hold the spine, hold the spine of it, that's it, make it a bit easier, and ready? Yeah. Uh, three, two, one, pull. Hard as you can. Pull, just, let's pull, pull. Come on. Oh, no, let me use the grip on the book. Oh, oh don't wreck the books. Come on, pull, pull, guys, pull. <laughs> Oh That's my goodness off. me. Right, well that wasn't quite the plan. Let's have a look at these books then, shall we? Let's put them down here. Now, I can't get away. do you think, what? I don't, I don't understand the problem, look, look. What are the problem? What I did, is, look, they're separated. That was, I mean, I did that one-handed, guys. I separated them one-handed. And I didn't pull the cover off. Guys, two big, strong PE teachers. Oh, I did it one-handed. Yeah. Oh, the magic of science. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No problem. So a big thank you uh, to Mr. Short and Mr. Marsh for their help there. You might have got what's going on there. The fact that just two sheets of paper, there's not much friction, but you add a third, a fourth, a fifth, and a couple of hundred pages, pages all interlinked, there's going to be a lot of friction, especially when you grab the sides. I don't know, did you see Mr. Marsh there? He grabbed the sides compressing those bits of paper together, pushing them together, so the friction will be even more. So poor old Mr. Short, he pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled the cover off. Well, it's a good job they were old textbooks that we don't use anymore, isn't it? So I hope you've enjoyed this assembly, learning about friction, the way it can be good, the way it can be bad, the way at times we want friction, but at times we don't want friction. And so I hope we've learned something and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.